Hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me. It's day two of Transform, and we're working on strength and stability. It is a hot, sweaty, and intense one, but modifications are included, so join me now. Let's get to it. All right, let's get to it. For today's equipment, I'm using some different things and playing with them. If you don't have them, don't worry about it. We'll have a modification window that'll show you how to do your exercise without the equipment that I'm using. So I do have a BOSU today uh, to work on the stability that we'll be experiencing. I do have a plyo box as well for step ups, but a sturdy chair or a bench or something at home will work as well. And I am gonna use my glute, uh, glute band today as well. If you don't have one, don't worry about it, or it might even be too much to get in and out quickly. So this might be something you just leave aside, but it's here just in case. As for my dumbbells, um, we're looking at 10s, 15s, and 20s. Uh, just for reference, okay, as you start to train with me more and more, you'll kind of figure those little things out. But I wanted to bring in the ball today because I think it's important that some of you have been training with me for a while, are ready for that next step, that challenge. Maybe you're looking to add new equipment to your in-home gym, all right? All right, great, I'm gonna get started here. Let's move through, we don't have much time, just a couple minutes, let's move through our joints. I just like to loosen them up, get a little bit of mobility in them before we start. Let's go left arm back. There you go, super excited here. Another total body. Um, we have a few circuits, we're just gonna kind of build it. We will isolate two today. Let's go forward, up and around, there you go. Five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, let's slide to the right here, touch down, lift up, touch again, and over to the left side. Touch, back up, touch down, and over. Let's just move like this for a few, side to side. You'll feel a little bit of a stretch on the inside of the leg. You'll feel our hips open as we push into them as well. Nice work. Little rotation through the spine here. Let's look up towards the ceiling. You can even come down lower if you want more of a rotation and twist. Great, other side, rotate, look up. You can stay high if we need to, you can head low. Nice work, Ooh, let's bring those feet in. I want you to touch those toes. Come down into a nice deep squat, maybe push the elbows into those knees. Get those hips as low as you can, that bottom as low as you can. Now touch the toes, let the hips come up and down. Up, as far as you can get them, keep those fingers on your toes so you get that stretch. Nice work, let's rock heel to toes. That's about all we're gonna do today. If you need more time, take it, but we're gonna isolate first here, turn on our core. We need to turn this core on, find our stability so that we can um, stabilize, find our balance so we can stabilize later, all right? So let's go ahead, we're gonna come down here to a plank on our forearms and we're just gonna hold. All right, so push the toes in, hips are level to the floor. I want you to draw that navel towards the spine, the belly button towards the spine, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thighs. Let's hold here, okay? So we're just working a little bit of uh, balance here on a plank hold and we'll work Stability will get to be moving a little bit through this too, and it will prep us for our other moves. They're just sort of sprinkled in today. You'll be fine. I will offer up some modifications as well. So if the stability is not there, which we have those days, you'll be able to take it down a bit, okay? This is a minute plank hold. If it gets to be too much, find your knees. All right, just keep those hips in line with the head so they're not boxed out here. Keep holding, let's go through our checkpoints again, drawing that belly button in, squeezing the glutes and the thighs, pushing those toes in. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. We're gonna go into a bird, bird dog. So now we're gonna have to find a little stability and, and a little bit of balance here, okay? So we're just gonna reach here and hold. And with that hold, we're finding balance. All right, and you might be a little unstable, so make sure you get it before you switch. And then we're just gonna switch. And I don't want you to rush it. A lot of times we kind of fall and we decide that's it. I want you, even if you're wobbling, to let the body find its balance and correct itself. Good, keep switching at your pace. Depends on your balance. It can be a little bit faster 
if we get the balance stuck and it might take us a little bit longer. All right, nice work. Let's come down to the floor again in that plank. This time we're gonna move. We're gonna reach out with that left. I call it around the world hand and tap. Bring it back in and reach out and tap with that right. Now, if this is too much, that's okay. We're gonna lift our right leg. Just go ahead and hold that plank once again. Left leg lifts, good. Now tap out with that left. And you'll find that you wanna rotate. I want you to try to square off those hips. Draw that belly button in tight. Let's lift that right leg. All right, and stabilize here, stabilize. All right, great job. Just practicing in here, getting that body ready. We're heading up a little bit tougher now. You can hold onto a wall if you need to, but we are gonna find our warrior three. So we're gonna bring our arms out. Find your balance here. Sometimes this is better without the shoes. Try to keep that foot up. Maybe you bring your hands out to the side like airplane wings. Let's switch sides. Try to find it on the other side now. This isn't as great for me. You might notice one side is better than the other. Either due to some weakness, non-dominant side, tightness. Out to the side if that helps. Nice work, all right. Now we're gonna move through and find stability with this. So let's just first tap back, knee up to stick. Good, tap back to stick. For some of us, let's swing it through to stick. Up to you. Again, even if you're just getting started, just modify to tap to stick. Even if you find yourself all over the place, practice, okay? That's the only way we get better at this is to practice. So keep working on it. Whew. Whew, that's it, so don't rush it. See how I was losing my balance, but I found it by sticking with it and letting the body adjust. Other side, here we go, tap it back, knee. Drive at knees. For some of us, it means going slow because the balance is not there. We have to slow it down, that's okay. If we're there, bring it up powerfully, fast, with some speed, and find balance to challenge yourself. Good, and stick. Great job. Swing it through, whoo, there you go. Three, two, and one, nice work, all right. We're gonna move again. Let's go ahead and bring that left leg stable, and we're just gonna move our arms side to side here, okay? Here we go. And if you need to, put the back toe down. You're still having to balance, but you have a little bit more stability. If not, come here. Whoop, there we go. Move those arms quickly. There you go. Bring the other one down. Let's try it on the other side. If it's not as good, put the toe down. I may need to. There we go. Swing it side to side. Woo. Woo, there we go. <laughs> nice work. Everybody needs practice. <laughs> All right, grab a sip of water. We have 30 seconds. We're moving on to cardio. Um, I'm gonna be using my BOSU. Look up at our window here for the alternative. You're gonna do a bur burpee broad jump. I'm going to be doing a burpee onto the BOSU. For those of you who aren't there with your burpees, I just want you to stand down, step it out, step it in, swing up onto those toes, okay? So there you're down, out, out. In, in, and up. Those without a BOSU, check out our block up here, our little modification. You're doing the broad jump. For those with your BOSU, here we go. We're out, in, on the BOSU, finding balance or stability there, okay? All right, a lot of stability in this unstable BOSU. So I'm jumping my feet wide, landing on the bullseye, I'm back out wide, and then I find my burpee, my plank. Bring it in wide, jump on. So it's almost like a jumping jack with a burpee, right? But we're finding ourselves on top of that ball. Try to get low, whoo. There you go, one of my favorites. It's been a long time. I've had my BOSU at the gym. I brought it back in for today. Three, two, and one. Right into exercise two. We're gonna go for a jogger's run, a little jogger jogging run. And we're gonna touch down, deep runner's lunge. Come up, one, two, three, four, touch down. One, two, three, four, and touch. We're gonna keep moving like this. If it's too high, heart rate's too high, build in your rest by taking this interval, which is 45 seconds down to 30. Build in your 15 seconds rest. There we go. Woo! One, two, 
three, four, and down. Deep touch here to the ground. Three, two, and one. 15 seconds rest. We're doing this again. 45 seconds, 45 seconds. Do 30 at this, add that 15 seconds rest, okay? Watch the clock. Three, two, and one. Here we go. We got it. Oh! Let's do it. It's a 45 second interval. That is no joke. I just want us to move. So even if you're using the BOSU or you're doing your broad jump and you get too tired, find that walk out, 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 in, in, up. Or swing to the toes, okay? Change it up. Keep moving, you can always change it, but don't stop. Maybe march, maybe find a low jack. Three, two, and one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, touch. One, two, three, four. Runner's line, you're down. Here you go, at your pace. Two, three, four, down. One, two, three, four, down. You got it. Woo! Heating up the room. I feel the sweat coming. Whew. All right, good. 14 more seconds. Two, three, four, and down. One, two, three, four, and down. One, two, three, four, and down. Nice work. One more round. One more round of this. Excuse me if that heart rate is too high. Take this interval down or skip our third set. Here we go, three, two, and one. Woo, we're getting it on today because the rest of this workout is going to be about strength and stability. So we're gonna move through our cardio here to warm up and then we'll see this cardio again at the end. My favorite, you'll notice that's a pretty common pattern for me. Land in that squat. Find that stability, Whew. stabilize, and down. That's it. And again, I realize a lot of us probably don't own a BOSU, so you can find your broad jump and land. You can find a step out to modify, even if you have the BOSU here, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. But I wanna introduce equipment to you again because I think it's important for, to build your own in-home space. If you're trying to do your workouts in your family room with your kids and your dog running around, <laughs> maybe you wanna find a little closed off area. I'm in my garage. <laughs> that works well for me. Up until then, it was really hard for me to find motivation in the house. <laughs> Woo! But here I can crank up my music, <sighs> have my own space. Shut the door. Shut the rest of the world out. <laughs> Here we go, come on. Three, two, and one. 30 seconds rest, let's take it. Grab a sip of water. It's only 30 seconds. I realize that for some of us just getting started, that heart rate is here. Ooh, turn your watch on. I always miss that. It's okay, we know. We know the truth. <laughs> We know more than our watch, no. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way. We gotta get started. We're gonna start with Skull Crushers, team. So I'm gonna grab tens. I suggest five, eights, or tens. We're gonna come down to the floor. Here we go, tricep extension. Elbows out. That's it, right here. Extend. Woo! That's it, now, if you're really struggling with this, maybe it's too heavy, the two weights separate. Grab away and work those together by both heads of the dumbbell here to help stabilize a little bit better, make it a little bit easier. All right, because they're helping each other, right? All right, we have a neutral grip. That's palms in chest press. We just worked our triceps. This kind of chest press will also call on your triceps. Here we go, we have a minute. So these intervals are gonna switch on us. 30 seconds on that isolated, a minute here. 
at this compound strength here on the chest. Still feeling those triceps because one, we just worked them. Two, we're doing a chest press that calls on them a little bit more. There is a method to my madness. No, I did stack them this way so we didn't have to get the real heavy weights out. For our chest press, we could still feel this. Now we could really start to feel those triceps working for us. Whew. And they're gonna get tired and that chest is gonna be like, I got you, I got you, I can do it. I'm gonna help out. Here we go, keep those elbows in, palms in, keep the elbows in. Don't flare them wider than the wrist, they're underneath your wrist. There you go, even if you stay wide with it, they're underneath the wrist. A minute is a long time, folks. Team, you have it though, okay? Just move with intention and at a great pace here. And that's rest, oh, you did it. We're gonna get a little bit off of that. We're gonna do a rear foot up split squat. I'm gonna use my BOSU. All right, let's actually start with the box or the chair that you have nearby. Check out right here, up and down, split squats, okay? For some of us just getting started, this is too much, okay? So we're gonna come out here, feet at the floor. I just want you to practice getting up and down and it may be just here today. That's okay, build up the strength in those knees and those legs. Just work on balance. You're on railroad tracks instead of a tight rope, all right? Everyone else, rear foot up if you'd like, on a chair, a low box, anything you can, so that you have to stabilize here through the movement. All right, we can add weight to this as well. We're halfway, we're gonna switch sides. Left foot back, right foot down. So, but before we add weight, before we go to any of the splits even, I want you to work on the split squat, but maybe you just really don't have it yet. That's okay. Work your squat, okay? So this adds instability. Add it back with the squat. If you've got the split squat from the floor down, you lift your foot up and you start challenging that balance, that stability again with this movement here. Rear foot up, RFE. Elevated, RFE if you wanna say. <laughs> oh, up and down. You got it, we're going back to the top. Each circuit has three exercises. Nice work, skull crushers from the floor. Next time I'll show you how to use your BOSU to add even more instability and offer those challenges. All right, tricep extensions, skull crushers as you might notice it or know it as. Go ahead and extend here. Remember not to sway the arms, okay? A lot of times we slide and move our arms. Elbows in place, upper arm is stuck in place as well. We're moving elbow out to to our fingers, to our hands, okay? That forearm. Squeeze at the top, okay? Slow down, no swinging. Here we go, three, two, and one. Grab your weights for your chest press. Remember, we're aiming for palms in here. Here we go, one minute on the clock. Let's work. If you need to, if it becomes too much, alternate the press. Okay, alternate it. Give one side a rest while the other works. Let's go with calling on those triceps. Let's push those triceps today. Palms in. That's it. Exhale when you push. Inhale as you come down. Control, control, don't drop the weight. Control it. There you go. Good. Keep working. A minute is tough but we have just two rounds. So taking it a little further is okay, it's okay. We'll get through it for two. Ooh. And if not, if you reach that max point for you, then stop, it's okay for today, right? You showed up, you're doing it, you're staying consistent. We're in day two, we've got this, and rest. All right, BOSU time. I'm gonna work with weight as well. If you have a BOSU, remember your modifications. Here we go. Split squat, up and down. Your rear foot up. There you go, so with this, whoo. It's bouncing back there, it's shaking with my legs. <laughs> so it's a little more challenging. How do we make it easier? We take the instability out. So we move back to our box or our chair if we're not there. Maybe we move our foot to the floor. 
That's the most stable in a split squat. And maybe that's still too unstable. We go to our squat. I hope you're listening. I hope you're taking it in. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know what's working and not working. If you didn't, if you couldn't find an alternative today, I'm here to help you. Switch. Whoops, switch. There you go, up and down. Good challenge here. It is shaking and quivering. That's it. Remember though, start with your squat, work to split squat without weight. That split squat first without weight. If you have balance and control and that knee is tracking over your second and third toe, not inside that big toe, you're good to add weight. But we need that first. Our body weight is enough until we get there. If we get hurt, we're not coming back soon. And all of our goals are put on hold. Three, two, and one. Nice work. 30 seconds rest, team. All right, 30 seconds rest. We're moving to our back now, I believe. Back. So we have bicep curls. I'm gonna be using my box for a step up to press for balance. Listen, we have a window that's going up that will show you the alternative, which is going to be a reverse lunge to knee press, okay? You'll see it. First one is our bicep curls. Let's grab some weight. We're gonna find some instability with a lateral step curl knee. Curl, knee. Finding balance. If we're not there, just take it a side step. You'll still feel your core working as you step and tap to the side. If you want a little bit more, bring that knee up on that curl. Ooh, there you go. All right, it's good stuff. Three, we're not swinging. Two, and one, great job. We're gonna row to stand here, okay? We're gonna take an underhand, so I think I'm gonna try 20s. Those were my 15s on the curls. Here we go. Bent over, shoulders way back out of those ears. Pull towards that lower rib cage. Release to stand. Good, bent over row. Squeezing the back, okay? Pulling back. Good, that's it. Head in line with the spine. Give it a little pause. If you get that weight here and you have to force it this way, or you get it here and you have to drop it quick. It's too heavy, too heavy. All right, yes, heavier weights make us stronger, but not if we're not controlling them. Not if we don't have control of them first. Whew, good, stand. All right, I love this. Posterior chain, we're squeezing. Upper back, squeeze the glutes to stand. All right, upper back, release, squeeze the glutes, stand tall. Good, that's it. Push those heels in, dig the heels in to stand. Back down, squeeze, release, and stand. All right. We are not at our step up yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna grab a 10 here. Maybe it's eight, maybe it's no weight. All right, everybody, let's go ahead. We're gonna step back with that right leg. We're gonna bring the weight to the side here. Cross it over the body, bringing the knee up. Down, up across, finding balance. Hold it, two to three counts. We'll get to the other side. It's a cross chop from right hip over to left shoulder. Finding balance. It's tough. Lean back, hinge at the hips. Up. If you need more of a challenge, you're gonna swing a little harder and try to stick it. Good work. 45 seconds on each side, so take your time. For some of us, it's moving slow and controlled to get balance, okay? We're here. We're raising slow, some of us are swinging. Here we go, switch sides. Right foot down, we're gonna step the left foot back. Weight at our left hip, bring it up, across the body, right shoulder, knee up. There you go, maybe the knee cannot go up right now. Maybe it's just toes here. All right, still reaching back with that foot, finding our toes here, still working balance. Instability, there you go. Woo, tap it back, find your balance, then, Find stability in the move. Switch it. Ooh, there you go. Don't rush that stick. It's just as important to pause there and let the body find it. Oh, there you go. Three, two, and one. <laughs> All right, guys, back to the beginning. Bicep curls, lateral step. 
I'm gonna go with my tens this time so I can get a few more in. Here we go, step, knee, step, knee with the curl. Again, if that's too much, just step side to side. You're still gonna work your core because you're moving with the curl and the weights, okay? The knee just makes it a little bit tougher. There you go. That's it, back and forth. Elbows in place, don't raise the arms. Squeeze and curl, whoo! There we go. I'm gonna give it one more. Then we need to find those weights for our rows. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Neutral spine, shoulders down and back. Push the hips, hinge back towards that back wall. Row, release, squeeze the glutes to stand. We're down, Whew. there, and up. Pull those elbows back. All right, pull those, feel those shoulder blades squeeze to stand, good. That's it, row, Woo. that's it. Almost feels like you're hugging yourself when you're using your lats and your muscles here in the back. Squeeze, release, stand, good. Don't forget to squeeze the butt as you stand as well. That's it. Activating those glutes helps our lower back. That's it. And up. 13 more seconds. Come on. And up. You're doing great. And up. Five seconds here. Three, two, and one. Woo! Rest for 10. 15 seconds or so, not much. All right, back to this cross body chop here. All right, let's start with that left foot uh, stationary. We'll go from the right hip to left shoulder. As we tire, we sometimes lose that balance. It goes. Just remember to draw in at the belly button. Draw in and up. Squeeze your glutes as well, okay? Tighten that core. If we can stabilize the core, the midsection, we can stabilize those legs, our arms, we can stop momentum. There you go, good. 45 seconds on each side. So don't be afraid to stop and find the stick. All right. Ooh, there we go. Even if it's from here to here, just barely on your toes. Make sure you're stabilizing. Here we go. Other side, left hip, right shoulder. Ooh, there you go. That's it. Nice work. I'll tell you, the first time that I did these in a long time, which might have been a couple months ago, I was all off. It was rough. But with practice, it just takes practice. Like everything else in life. <laughs> we lose what we don't use, right? There we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm tired, getting tired. I don't know about you. There we go. We're almost up. Three, give me one more. Two, and one. Nice work, team. 30 seconds rest. I'm keeping us going. I'm keeping it hopping. Take more rest if you need. I realize some of us were with us on the last few programs. This is your first one. Maybe you're just getting started. That's okay. All right. Moving on, we have a banded hip bridge. Bridge, sorry. This is where I'll be using my box. Look for the window for your modification. We'll get to it. I'm putting my band just above my knees. We're gonna go glute bridge, and I'm gonna add a little weight today. Here we go. Tuck your pelvis just a bit. Lift and lower, barely tap. I'm not gonna bring my hips all the way down. Up and down. You do not have to use the band for this. If you don't have one, you'll still feel the glutes here. All right, it's just adding a little more tension, a little bit more work. That's it, it's just 30 seconds, so for some of us, it may not even be worth getting in and out of. All right, I understand. It's like putting your pants on and taking them back off. We have a lateral, lateral step touchdown. I'm gonna take my 20 for reference. I suggest starting light. We're gonna head to the right, step and squat, okay? I'm gonna to touch down with the tip of my dumbbell. We wanna make sure that we're not in a rounded back position on this, that we have a neutral spine. So if you cannot tap down with that neutral spine, just go mid shin, okay? Mid shin. Now I'm gonna go all the way even. I'm gonna take mine, I'm short. Getting down to the ground isn't as much of a problem. I'm gonna go all the way down, keeping a neutral spine. 
squatting. Good, now I'm gonna switch. Let's go ahead and switch that left hand or the opposite hand that you had the weight in. Touch, stand, touch, stand. I'm going deep. The deeper we go in the squat, keep that chest up, the more muscle fibers we touch on. We're gonna feel the glutes. We're gonna feel adductors especially get in there. There we go, three, two, and one. Nice work, team. Step ups. If you don't have a box, check out my window. You'll reverse lunge to press. I'm going here. Here we go, team. I'm gonna find a knee to balance as well. Step up, press with the knee up to balance. If the balance isn't there, don't bring the knee up on that reverse lunge or step up. Just bring it back to the top. No need to lift the knee if we can't find balance today. It's okay. Don't do it. There we go. Woo. I'm alternating. I was gonna stay with one side and one weight. So this is gonna be a long, a long time frame. So you may see me switch hands. We'll woo, change it next time. One side, single side. We're halfway. That's it, just stick. Good job. Up, whoopsie, nope. Wasn't there that time, be careful. Knee up, press, find balance, reset. There you go, you can do it, slow down. Slow down. There we go, we got it. Woo. Again, reverse lunge to press with that knee up or not. Depends on where we are. 13 seconds, push. Oh yeah, reset. If you need to find lighter weight, go for it. But we're there, three, two, and one, rest. Oh wow, great job. This is building through this glute bridge. Find your band if you want it. Find your weight if you want it. Otherwise, just bridge for me. It's only 30 seconds. I'm gonna use both weights here. Here we go. That's it. Keep that tension on the band if you're using it. Barely tap down. Try to get a little bit of a tilt in that tail, or a little bit of a tuck. I'm sorry, not a tilt, but a tuck. Tuck your tail. <laughs> Good. Keep going here. We'll get up and do our touchdowns. Started a little late here. Three, two, and one, nice work. We're up with those lateral step squats. I'm using a 20 for reference here. Right hand, step out, touch down, either all the way, as long as that back is neutral. Keeping that chest up, getting down into that squat. You have to go a little wider with those feet, toes a little flared, in order to clear your hip bones and get deep. If you're rounding in any sort of way, don't go so far down. Maybe you just take the tip of your demo. Maybe you take it here and tap it down just so you're tapping. You're getting the same depth each time. Switch hands for me. Switch arms. There you go. Tap. Woo! All the way. And down. Oh, we got it. And out. And up. Deep. Oh. We're almost there. Hang on, hang on, come on. Three, two, and one. All right, I'm going up. We're gonna do a single. I'm gonna still hold on to two weights, but I'm only gonna press with one shoulder. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. Let's go left foot up, right um, arm up, knee up, and down, good. We'll stay with this side for 45 seconds and we'll switch. You do not need this extra weight on the left side of the body unless you need to push on the legs. If your step up is already tough enough and balanced, put the weight down, just work on pressing overhead. And with that, maybe we don't even press overhead. Maybe we're just working on stepping up to knee, okay? Modify. I will go over modifications and talk about it all day. If it means that you can have small wins and you can work out with us, and you can feel good about it and stay safe. Halfway, right arm down, left arm to 
to left shoulder. Left knee up, left arm in the air. There you go. Back down. Again, there's a wide range of abilities, bodies, goals here today. We can all find something to do. And again, don't be afraid to speak up if it wasn't here for you today. Let me know. I'll direct you to another video or maybe I missed something that I can add in next time for you. That's what I'm here for. As you progress, as you stay consistent, as you keep working, you'll be able to do all these things. You'll be able to progress and add these little elements back in. All right, rest team. Good job. Clear some space, we're back to our cardio. I only gave us 30 seconds. If you want a little bit more and you still wanna do the cardio but you're feeling tired, give yourself a minute to two minutes, then find your cardio. We are back to the BOSU jumps. Or again, you can do the broad jump burpee shown in the window above. Or we could do more of a step out, out, in, in, swing to our toes, okay? Here we go. And it's time, 45 seconds again. Oh, that's right, I didn't back it down. We're going again in three rounds. Pumping it back up here. We're gonna empty that gas tank today. We're gonna feel good about what we did. Even if we modified, please don't be hard on yourself. Modifications keep us safe. They keep us moving. Woo! They give us those small wins when we need them most. That's it, come on. Get the stick there on the top of that bullseye. Woo! <laughs> Three, two, and one. All right. Actually, give us 15 seconds here this time. You're welcome. High knees. Runners touch down here. Runners lunge. Here we go. Three, you can march if you want. I'm gonna run it. One, two, three, four. Find a deep lunge. One. Two, three, four, drop into a deep lunge. That's it. You do you. Modify. You might be marching without the lunge. There's all kinds of things. You might be doing a low jack. You do you. Maybe you love jump rope. Maybe your stairs are nearby at the, uh, the house. Run your stairs. You find something that pumps up that heart rate. It keeps your feet moving. All right, seven seconds. And we're gonna have another 15 second break. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. Let's have some fun. Remember, it's 45 second bout. Bring it down to 30, add an extra rest. Three, two, and one. Here we go, team. Woo! We've come this far, all right? We're not gonna stop. We're gonna keep moving. Even if we find a different movement than the one I've given you to keep going. Nice work. You might just stop here and head out for a walk around your block or two. All right, seriously. Woo. Sometimes that's great. Start with a walk, 10 minute walk before the workout and finish with one. 20 minutes of steps in plus a strength session. You're golden. Woo. Three, two, and one. Rest. Oh. All right. Kudos. High fives. We got this. Here we go. A little bit of running. Deep lunge. Three, two, and one. Run it out. Deep lunge. One, two, three. Four, and you can make that any count. It might be six, it might be eight, it might be 10. Whatever works for you. Good. Whew. All right. Count to four, so one, two, three, four, and down. One, two, three, four, and down. One, two, three, four. Step back, oh, there you go. That's one, step. That's it. Woo! Good. Three, two, one. 15 seconds rest. We have one more round. 
just enough water to get me through this. All right. Woo. Last round, you can do this. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Out, in, Woo. and down. Good. Here's where the transformation begins. When we're tired and we're still digging deep and we're still going, even if we've modified, we are still moving. All right? That mental toughness is gonna get you through the program. All right, those struggles are gonna keep you coming back for more. I promise you, it may not seem like it right now, but it will. No regrets. Here we go. Woo. Five, three, two, and one. All right. 45 seconds of work, our last one. Even if you've been taking 30 seconds of work, I want you to aim for the 45, this last one. Just modify the work. Three, two, and one. Here we go. So take it lower if you have to, but I want the whole 45. There we go. Down. One, two, three, four. Down. One, two, three, four. Down. One, two, three, four. Down. Good. One, two, three, four. And down. Good. 20 seconds to go. You've got this, team. Don't give up. Woo. We're going to go on E here today. Empty. Good. Five seconds. Come on. Three, two, and one. Yes. Grab a sip of water. Woo. Let's let that heart rate come down. Oh, man. We keep drinking. More and more water. All right. Let's breathe a little bit. Into your nose. Out through your mouth. All right. So I know that can be really intense. Hopefully, through my cues, through your modifications, you realize you can bring it down, all right? Don't be frustrated, don't be discouraged. Just look for inspiration, all right? Things will change, okay? Get inspired. We all started where you did, all right? I started somewhere too, I promise you. All right, and we just build. All right, let's breathe in through our nose. Reach high, exhale. Good. In through the nose, let the belly fill and rise. Exhale. Good job. And again. And out. Nice work. A couple stretches. I'm going to worry about hips, quads today. Um, I also want to worry about chest, as I know a lot of us get a little tight here from being in our cars at the desk. Those are going to be my two focal points today. Let's go ahead, grab your right ankle. If this is a little tough, hold on to something. If it's still tough, come down to your side here and draw back. All right, keep the left knee in front. Those are some options. You can even lay on your stomach and hold. All right, and there's another good way to get there, so if I'll know if you were here, if you cannot reach your ankle and get a quad stretch in any of those ways, send me a message, a direct message or a comment. I'll get back to you. I'll show you how you can do that. There is a way. There is a way because it's important that we don't let these quads get tight on us. Nice job. Other side. Grab that left one. Again, by one of those options I gave you. And if it's not for you, I've got another way. All right couple different ways. You can have a partner help you or you can use a band. We can get you there. Great job. All right, let's get the hip flexors just a bit. We'll stay up. I want you to turn that back toe out about 45 degrees. Square your hips off. Okay, so you may have to kick this leg out a little bit on railroad tracks. And we're just going to push, tuck the tailbone a little bit and push forward. You go far enough, you'll feel this in that front hip. Wow, we're running out of time. So let's go ahead while we're doing that and get our chest stretch in here, okay? So I'm just gonna have you interlace those fingers. If you're not able to get there, I'll have you grab a towel. Grab a towel behind or a band, something that can spread your 
uh, the distance between your hands will give you a little distance there and can help you find that stretch. Team, it's been a long time since I said I needed water. I need water. Let's turn around, left foot, 45 degree angle. Tuck your pelvis, push forward, feel that stretch. Square your hips, both facing the front wall here. Reach behind again for another chest stretch. Good job, all right, bring that left arm. I'm taking a few seconds over. It's been 45 minutes. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Love having you here. Um, again, just so excited about the change, the transformation we're working through. The new you, um, health and fitness is a mental game for me as much as it is physical. And I know at first working out can be really tough and maybe you don't understand why I love it so much. <laughs> but I think if you stay consistent and you give yourself those wins and you start to get stronger and you start to feel more confident and better, you're gonna realize uh, how much that not only helps you mentally, maybe, um, Mentally, physically, spiritually, it just really helps you feel better. And that's really all I want for you. It's not really about the scale. Maybe it is for you. Maybe that's a goal of yours health-wise. It is important, but um, as long as we can move and feel better as well, that's really the key. So thank you again. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.